everybody, welcome back to the words of Dad Cubed. Well, I start to apologise a little bit. Got a bit of a cold, you know what I mean? Bit of a head cold on, but I call it a... <coughs> bit of a cough in that, bit of a smell, you know. But, you know, it's, it's a little cold, but of course it's like a man flu to me. I'm, you know, I'm laying on a bit thick so the missus looks after me. Shh, don't tell her. Right, I'm going to tell you a story today. I'll send you back in time again, what should I tell you? And funny things happen. I've got loads and loads to tell you, but oh, I've better been too boring, I'm afraid. But this once again goes back to when I was skiing. This is way, way back in my honeymoon. I mean, we've just gone through 30 odd years of marriage, like, you know. This is his, I can't remember how long it is exactly. But, you know, over 30 years of marriage now, like, you know, so it's not doing too good, you know, not too, too good. So, it was me slap. <laughs> it's not doing too bad, so it is. But, you know, cause it's great. I mean, oh, it's lovely. Two lovely children, all sorts, which I've said before. Anyway, get all the fucking stories, Steve, right? So, this is when on, uh, we was on honeymoon, of course, as I've said before, we was, I think, in Italy, you know, like Lavinia, beautiful place, having a little drum, you know what I mean? Nice place to stay in there. I was getting quite good at the old skiing. Then, um, uh, things, we, we, was, we was, you know, because we were married a couple and that, you know, we wanted to spend as much time together, but we wanted to come out as well with mates and all that, like. As I said before, I think if you look back in the videos, we, we talked about these group of people, which was great, it was lovely, good friends, like, kept in touch with them quite a few years afterwards. Anyway, this thing, like, they said they were going to go and do a, um, it was debogging. Well, I thought, I think it was debogging with all loads of, I think, I don't know much it cost, about five weeks or ten, it might be 50 quid a chain got faced on here. But you got a load of them glue vine, which is the old hot wine, it's outside. It, felt, it, it seemed like a really good thing to do, you know what I mean? Drinking the old glue vine, really wrapped up warm against the old cold, it was fantastic. On these toboggans. Well, I thought toboggan was a fucking great thing, you know, like four man toboggan, they go down the old slides and that. This thing, this seems like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it was like a spade made of rubber. It was very, very strange. I could just make it my arse in it, you know what I mean? You put these things stick out of the air, you get the air hold to it, and put your legs up. <laughs> I'm trying to find one of them, I've never looked around. Maybe I was imagining it, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <coughs> so, it, it was um, it was like this thing, this rubber, but you jump on it, like, you know, and it, you have to walk up this fucking hill. Let me set the story again for the while. So the geese goes around, all the, all the people was looking about it and said, let's do it now, let's have a laugh. So we all got up there, we all wrapped up, wrapped up really, really cold, because it was fucking cold at night, it must be about, I don't know, 10 below or something like that, it was really, really cold. So we're up there, and the old guy, the geese are coming along, the old, old rep geezer, and he says, right, we've just got to go this way, and he says, what's up, it's just only a little way for the hotel. And we had to walk up this hill, you know, like a little baby slope, because the, the, the chairlifts are nothing, the button is not working at all. But they had to walk up, it wasn't too far, like, you know, maybe about, know, about 10 minutes to walk up this hill, I suppose, like that, and maybe less than that, I'm not too sure. But, um, it was a long time ago, but this is a story, it's still a good story. So, so you go up there, so we said, well, we're doing freeze and all that, like, you know, three people right there, like, four people right there. And as you get knocked out, you sit and, and watch everybody else, like, and have a drink of the old glue vine, you know, so it was good. So, so this eel was quite, quite good, but it was very icy, yeah, very icy. So, oh, Mrs. Weir and Mrs. got split up, we said, you know, you split them up, like, you know, I'm not going to have that in there. So I went up to this group of eggs, like, we're about three or four, I think it was four, I might be four or three, I ain't got a face study now. Do -do. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, oh, anyway, so we're up there, so the first, first thing, realised it dawned on me that I, I was the biggest chap there, sort of thing. And I mean, like, I'm quite grand in there, you know, I was quite big then, even though I don't, even though I was quite smaller than I am now. Yeah, I think I know what I mean. Anyway, so we went up there, well, it, was, it wasn't really skill, he was sitting on this fucking thing with your legs up in here, in gravity. Well, gravity and me got on quite well, being a big bloke, and I won the first race. So it's not oh, bloody hell, like, you got to go in again. Like, and, well, this went on. This went on this race. I won the first one, then I won the second one, then I won the third one. And every time my missus got knocked out first, I think she fell off, like, you know. But I think I was quite going, oh, I'm going to get this, like, you know. It was a bit of money at the end of it. I don't know how much it was, like, a few lira. I can't go face there. But this is like, she, she got off like, so she sat there by this lovely roaring fire head going on the slope, drinking this beautiful glue vine there, yeah? and every time I walked past her. By then the sweat was fucking pissed off me, it was so cold, do you know what I mean? And I got through to the final, yeah, I got right through to the final. But, but what it dawned on me, I should have fell off a fucking long time before that. If I had done fell off a bit before, I would have been standing the old missus having a drink, you know, but, oh, I don't know, pride off, well, I don't know, I just wanted to win it, I think, at the end. Anyway, at the end, it's the three biggest chaps or four biggest chats, I think the water really got knocked out in that. We was at the top, it was about like maybe two hours later, my missus was pissed as a prat, fucking on his glue vine. I was the same as a judge, you know what I mean? And so, so we went out there, so the last lap, I think I come third, could do a bigger chat to me, so it was just pure gravity. Got early down and we fucking went through the thing like, you know, and it just, just kicked on going like for a little while, like this donkey shit was around like, but it was quite a good evening, it was, it was a good evening, everybody's laughing, about, about like, 
Most people were pissed up by then, but I was so as a judge because I kicked on fucking winning, being a bigger person. <sighs> Looking back at I said I should have just fucking just jumped off straight away the first round and had a good drink of glue bite. Oh dear, I didn't. I kept on doing it. Anyway, it was a good night. And I've got a little medal. I still feel I've got a medal there somewhere fucking all chucked out. But I thought I'd tell the story. It's quite a good story, but I've got me a head cold. <coughs> a bit of the old cough and cold. I think I've put it down a little bit. Hit me early up. Don't think that funny now, said it. <sighs> oh well. I think it is. Had a good time. Should have jumped off the beginning. Learn by your mistakes. Have I? Nah. See you all later. Bye!